I like this. I like it a lot. Have it before I eat it all. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today we're in front of the jungle walk right here We are going to walk to this restaurant Nyonya restaurant This is of Nyonya cuisine I have heard like a lot about it Very good food Typical, authentic I've never tried it Not much actually so let's try it out together This restaurant called we super close to where we're staying so we got like a four types of food over here once you walk in it's like three people daddy mommy <laughs> and the son working all together they have like a few stations make like different type of food very cool I film like all of this the process they're making right now we're gonna go for Bopia. Chinese style kind of wrap it's like spring roll but just not deep fried blowing apart on you yeah oh. mm. not vegetarian it's a pork rind mm -hmm. and that's also like egg inside it's good it's like Really flavorful, mm. and the crunch of all like this. Oh, it's actually like fresh vegetable. Pork rinds in it, kind of you know the crispy pork rinds. I think it's put this right here, pickled. Like I don't know what it's beet or something or something mm -hmm. like radish maybe, but yeah. it kind of almost tastes like meat. So you can almost like it's almost like vegetarian if you took out the pork. The pork yeah was good. Now finish it. Now finish it. <laughs> And now we're gonna dive into this raw jack. My favorite Malaysian food since last time I visited because fruit salad really refreshing but at the same time they have like this little bit fishy and with like all the peanut taste. Very yummy, and this they make it like all fresh, also all the fruit and everything. Mm. It's also good, like really crispy fruit. Pineapple. That's the pineapple, and they also have guava and water chestnut. Oh, it's like soy sauce with like sugar coating on it with peanuts. So it's actually not that bad. The only weird thing is this rice cake, I would say. Weird. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of battered fried because it's like... It's just giving you like some, some of the texture. Yeah, like good crispy. texture. But if you let it sit too long, it's soggy, so you might not like that. Other herbs. Cucumbers, I think. Is this cucumber? Yeah. Yeah, it's refreshing. Yeah, I can see why you like this. I but like it. Like The other one I didn't like. I, I like know. it since I visited it Penang last time. Mm. Because the weather is hot, so you need something to like freshen you up a little bit. Not sure if this is like a nyonya style that they put vegetable and bean sprout on it. But every place they like different, you know. Some places even put squid in it. Kevin was like, I like this. I like it a lot. Have it before I eat it all. <laughs> But yeah, supposed to be good because the place called Bobia Lui. So the Bobia is supposed to be like super duper. This looks like uh, the one we have in Thailand, but the taste is it's just like something flavorful and so much stuff in there. Mm. Very big bite of Bobia over here. But we're gonna do our best. Mm. Mm. What about some laksa? So far, we couldn't find any places that has better laksa in the one in JB at all. Hmm. Okay. Not as strong as the other one, 
But it does taste more coconutty. Not bad. A little bit spicy. Is what the chili oils are. Supposedly, I was reading, the oils are supposed to lock in the flavor. Mm -hmm. Which it does. Yeah. So like this one, a little bit spicy. Flavorful. But like, um, the noodle though, I, I, I wish it's kind of like more firm. So you like right? the other versions? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like like firmer kind of noodle that I can chew it a little bit. This one is like soft. Mm. Just a fish cake. Big piece of deep fried tofu. Mmm, that's good. Thank you. This one they call nyonya bakjang. So bakjang is actually like a um, sticky rice ball but come in um, a shape of what is it? Triangle? Like this? Whatever. They're gonna stir fry the sticky rice first with all these peanuts, um, pork, salted egg, chitake, and then they steam it. Then this is a little bit different, but this is actually like my first first time trying this nyonya style bakjang. Let's see how sweet it could be, how good it could get. It's blue also because um, butterfly pea. And then inside. Whoa. Wall. Wall. What's the wall? Yeah, why? Supposed, was, supposed to be sweet. And pork. It's like herby. Herb? Yeah. Like For the whole thing, all the plates that we like order, if you don't get full, this would totally get you full because this is all sticky rice. It's like herbs. Like perfume almost. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Just like some sweet pork. Think it is? Mm. It's like a sweet pork. And then outside this, you know, butterfly pea color rice ball. Oh no. Sticky rice. Mm. Not bad. But at the same time, not my favorite here. <laughs> so Malaysia is not so hot at all. <laughs> I'm sweating from Malasa. <laughs> Jungle Street, really nice food, and then, like I said again, not so many places that they're gonna have this like a family running and also doing and cooking the food by themselves. But this place, they actually do, and the food is all really good and really reasonable price for like four dishes that we got is forty Malaysian ringgit. I totally would come here again for their laksa, popia, rojak. But then like uh, the nyonya bakjang, I'm not so sure if it's like not, not it's, it's not my taste or I'm not sure but I hope you guys enjoyed this nyonya food experience. Don't forget to subscribe to Way Beyond Pad Thai channel and I will see you guys in the next video.